Hello class, welcome to today's math lesson. Today we are going to be putting information on a graph and it's going to be a birthday graph so happy birthday! Might not be your birthday today but we are going to be graphing some birthday information. Let's take a look at what I already have on the board. I have a cupcake that says every month of the year. Today we are going to be taking some cupcakes and graphing some special birthdays. I don't know your birthday, so I'm not able to graph yours. So I want you to try this at home today with your friends and family. The first birthday that I'm going to graph is my mom's and my mom's birthday is in August. So I'm going to look all the way down and find August. It is right here. August is in the summer. And so I have someone very special who has a birthday in August. It's my mom. Next, I am going to graph my dad's birthday. And my dad's birthday is in November. So I am going to put a birthday cupcake right above November. So if we were to look at our graph, we wouldn't have any in January, February, March, April, May, June, or July. We would have our first birthday in August and then one in November. Now, my husband's birthday is also in November. So I'm going to put a, another cupcake right there on November. And do you know what? My son, Benjamin, his birthday is also in November. So I am going to put another cupcake right there on November. Now if we were to look at our graph, which month has the most birthdays? November. Well done. Let's start at the beginning of our graph. January. Hmm. My stepson Daniel's birthday is in January, so I am going to put a date tag for him for January. And in February, my son Matt's birthday is in February, so I am going to put a cupcake for Matthew. Hmm. Don't have anyone in my family in March, and I don't have anyone in April that lives in my house. Hmm. But in May, my daughter Lizzie's birthday is in May. So I am going to put a cupcake for May. And my stepdaughter Jenny's birthday is in May as well. So I am going to put another cupcake there for May. Hmm. No one in my house has a birthday in June. But July is my son Jonathan's birthday. So I am going to put a cupcake for July. And there's only one more person in my house, and that is me. And my birthday is in October. And so I'm going to put another cupcake in October. Hmm, I already did November. And there's no birthdays in our house in December. Now let's take a look at this graph. <gasps> Can you see which month has the most birthdays? It's November. There are three birthdays in the month of November. And then which month has the next to the most? It is this one. It is month, the month of May. January, February, March, April, May. Jenny and Lizzie's birthday are both in May. Hmm, where would you put your birthday? Where would you put your mom's birthday? I hope that you are able to make a graph today. My graph is a picture graph, but graphs don't have to be a picture graph. Let's look at another way that we could make a graph. Your graph doesn't have to be a picture graph. You could do yours on paper as well. I am going to be using little plastic squares as markers on our graph. I have a little blue bear. 
and I have a little red dog, a yellow cat, and a little green dragon. If I had some friends here, I could ask them which one is their favorite. And if I had three friends who voted for the little blue bear, I would indicate that by doing one, two, three squares right above the bear. What if I had two friends who liked the little red dog? Well, then I would put two red squares there. What if I had five friends who really thought that the yellow cat was cute? Then I would put one, two, three, four, and one more. Five tags to show that five friends liked the cat. And what if I had two friends that liked the little green dragon? Well, this graph would show us which one was the favorite. Which one did my friends like the most? You're right. It is the cat. Five friends liked the cat. How many friends liked the little blue bear? You're right. It is three. Well, this is just one of the many ways that you can do a graph. I would like for you to try making a graph today. Class, thank you so very much for coming to visit me today. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.